Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Teach Astronomy. My name is Victoria, but you can call me Vicky. But today, you can call me Kai because Dungeons and Dragons in Space is back. Woo! Yay. And <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we have some new faces. Well, if you guys uh, saw the D and D holiday streams, um, you know, less new because they've been here before. But Amanda and McKenna are joining us. And we have our lovely Game Master Grant back, and Kyle, as always, as our lovely Leaf. And um, I think I will pass it over to Grant to do our regular intro of, like, what we do here and uh, lead to the character introductions. Sounds like a plan. So welcome, everybody, to the Endurance Campaign. We are following the ongoing missions of the away teams of Starship Endurance, a massive colony ship many hundreds of light years away from Earth, and also several centuries away from Earth now, as it turns out. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. The away team's mission is generally to, uh, when something weird shows up, go and poke it, or when something decides to show up and poke the Endurance to uh, slap it away and tell it to go back where it came from. Um, that's essentially what happened last mission. Last mission, uh, there were a bunch of pirates, and slavers who decided they wanted to uh, try and take over the endurance for the hundred thousand or so colonists who were frozen as popsicles on board. Uh, our away team said no, handedly, but it was not a costless endeavor, and um, members of the away team initiative were lost in the process. Uh, our main crew, the heroes of our story, managed to man managed to get through in one way or another. Um, some of our players today are actual away team members. You, you will remember Kypris and Leaf. Um, we also have a couple of members of the Endurance, the Endurance's larger security force um, in Rick and Erebus. So let's go ahead and go around and have each of you introduce your characters really quick. Where do we start? I guess we'll, st I guess we'll start with you, Vic. Okay. <laughs> Fearless leader. <laughs> Yes, fearless leader now. Um, as I said in the beginning of the stream, my name is Kypris, but uh, you can call me Kai. And um, I am the pilot for Dawn's Horizon. I guess maybe one of the pilots for Dawn's Horizon, but I am a pilot. I am an heirloom human, which just means I am the classic uh, kind of human. It's boring. Um, <laughs> and um, I normally have pink hair and glasses and didn't feel like putting this on today. Um, and I'm chaotic and fun. And also team lead now. Woohoo! Leaf! Uh, I'm Leaf. I'm our psionic adept elf. Uh, and also our resident hacker and handler for uh, Wonder the Space Weasel. The eternally hungry, very good girl. And I. Uh, yeah. Oh, and also, uh, I have Bessie here with me, our mm -hmm. uh, sentient AI companion. I should also um, say that we also have Artie, um, who is a fun, my fun robot son. He's not really my son. I've just kind of adopted him because I love him. He'll come up. <laughs> McKenna and Amanda. Right. Well, not uh, fully introduced yet, but um, my name's Brick. <laughs> And uh, my friends call me Brick. Um, I am a uh, reptilian humanoid, uh, very large individual, stout, kind of NFL linebacker-esque physique, a uh, bald head, very ashy scales, kind of flaky in some spots, and uh, very deep uh, orange eyes. <laughs> Strange physique. Um, I'm Ari, and he's my best friend. Hi. I never leave his side. Um, I'm also a psionic elf. I have purple hair kind of pulled up into a little ponytail. Um, and I have two dark floating crystals kind of just constantly floating above my head. Um, I am your melee fighter, but I am very anxious about it. So, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, nice to meet everybody. <laughs> this is exciting. Kai, to, Kai, Kai can uh, be less of the 
I'm going to try to punch it because <laughs> now we have yeah. someone who's supposed to do that. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> someone whose literal job description is go punch the thing, please. Um, mm-hmm. exactly. It's exciting because I've almost died many times doing that. So. Well, with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and transition us into the scene. So it's it's been a few months since the events of Mission 3. Um, to an extent, Endurance has healed. A lot of repair work has been done. And um, the real healing, though, is with the away teams. Um, several away teams are missing entirely. Many more are missing members. And um, as a result, Endurance has had to pull out a lot of members of its security staff for who, who were originally intended for when the colony was set up. They were meant to be a security force on, on the ground. Um, but now they are supplementing the away team initiative. And as a result, a lot of work has gone into making the away teams themselves more autonomous. Instead of, hey, we found this thing, go check it out. The Endurance has begun investing heavily in giving away teams their own ships and giving you a chance to go beyond Endurance's locus of influence to go see what else is out there. And that's what's been happening for the last couple of months. Chief Engineer Quarren has been working 24-7 over the last couple of months, refitting ships with the technology you found on the pocket carrier that you captured, and also building a couple of new ones, including your ship, Dawnbreaker. She's not a big ship. She's not the toughest ship, but she is your ship. And she is nearing completion. So during this process, during this couple of months, it has taken to build the ship. What have each of you been up to? Well, Kai. We'll go ahead. Yes. I was gonna say Kai's definitely been mostly helping with building the ship, but like. <laughs> You can't pull her away from this thing. Except for the one day that you guys definitely did pull her away from this thing. I We're going to say that she was sick or something because I saw one of the things you guys put on the ship and I do not. I'm mad about it. Who put the self-destruct button in when I wasn't looking? <laughs> I'm a little uh, upset. You know who did it. <laughs> it. It came with a ginormous red button. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> with one of those security shields over it that takes three keys to unlock. Who has the keys? You can have one of them. I would hope so. <laughs> <clears throat> Here you go. <laughs> okay. Take good care of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You might need it. Okay. Um, well, I guess we know what Kai's been doing. Um, I, I guess we kind of know what Leaf's been up to. <laughs> Um, what have Brick and Erebus been up to? I think just recovery, honestly, yeah. from what happened. Cryo sleep was... for a while takes a little bit to kind of come out of. Yeah, the... and trauma. And trauma. <laughs> and while you discuss that, I will be right back. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> a little fun backstory. Um, Kyle. <laughs> I called Kyle about eight minutes before this stream and I was like, hey, you coming? And he's like, wait, what? Um, and he was in the middle of making mashed potatoes and we're not going to die a boy his mashed potatoes. So he's going to go get those. <laughs> yes. I don't know if he's bringing them back to eat them on stream, but he's going to at least make sure they're not boiling over. Alrighty, so um, we can get to some of the scenes I was I was thinking about in a minute. However, uh, and I think it's hilarious that this happens right now. Um, I'm going to say all four of you are summoned to the Bridge of the Endurance. And Leaf is late. Um, hmm? I said, and Leaf is late. <laughs> <laughs> First time. <laughs> so um, and so you, arrive, you arrive on the bridge. Um, and 
I'm going to say maybe Caillou might be a minute or two ahead of the other two. So, um, when you are, and, and then Leaf comes just bolting out of the turbo lift into the bridge after you. Um, and then <laughs> you see the turbo lift stop one more time and a couple of security people come out and they're not in the standard red away team uniform. They're, ki they're kind of in more of a, um, red with a white or uh, white with a red stripe on it is what they generally tend to wear. Um, it, it makes them very easy to spot, which is kind of important for their job most of the time, um, except when it's not a good thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the four of you are in the bridge. Um, at the moment, there's no one there. It looks like they might be running a little bit late today, but it's understandable seeing as there are about 12 different ships under construction and a lot of overseeing needs to be done. So, yeah, uh, Brick, Brick and Airy, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of familiar with the away team, so you recognize that the heirloom human with pink hair who's standing there with the gold armband on her, on her uniform is definitely the boss of whatever team you've been called to help out. You've probably run in, run into her, or at least seen her around during construction you've been maybe helping out a little bit here and there i've had my head in an engine for most of the time i'm sure but <laughs> <clears throat> leaf i thought you were gonna be late how did the mashed potatoes go <laughs> uh i turned off the stove that's great that's good <laughs> um so you know we'll see if there is any left when i get back okay <laughs> or if i have you never know you never know. Wonder might get to them. That's um, true. So. Um, <laughs> hi, you guys are uh, security officers. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Hi. Nice. Nice to meet you. My name's Kai. Oh, okay. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> Brick reporting for duty. Uh, hello. I didn't hi. know we do. Do we do this now? Do you guys do this? <laughs> A hologram oh, flickers to uh, life behind all of you, and Admiral Todd's, Thomas Wadsworth Kane just shakes his head and says, Salutes have been out of fashion for the last 500 years. I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. If you if you want, it's it entirely... Uh, it's, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. If we're cool. going to do it, we might as well be fancy. <laughs> well, then take it the entire way, go back a thousand years, bring back the, the curtsy and the bow, and we'll we'll start talking. I'm kidding. Please don't. It takes up so much time in floor space. All right. Um, uh, from what I hear, the Dawnbreaker is about ready. I was hoping to give you your mission parameters, if if that works for you. Dossie and Quarren are down in the cargo bay doing their thing. I think they're loading you up with some fun stuff. So yeah, yeah. Gather around the table. We've got a little bit for you here. Alrighty. Great. I gather. <laughs> Wadsworth waves, waves his hand over the over the holographic table that sits at the center of the bridge, and the diagram of a the star system appears. It's it looks like a it looks like a pretty average star system. It's got a a single star at its center. It's got it's, about half a dozen planets orbiting it, and he commands the he commands the system to zoom in on the fourth planet out. We have been doing long range observations of the system you found coordinates for aboard the Janar pocket carrier. Now renamed something. My my data banks are still catching back up, unfortunately. Um <laughs> Yes, the Discovery. We decided to name it the Discovery. It was a good name. Voting contest. We decided to uh, veto uh, Space Shippy Mix Shippy Face. Um, no, now, I like that one. We have detected... Thank you. I put it in there for you. Thanks. <laughs> the Admiral ignores you and continues. We, we have detected a potentially hospitable planet. There are no signs of advanced life. And we would like you to go and survey it. 
as the beginning of your mission. Just to see whether it is a good candidate for the Endurance, it would be nice to have a place to call a home base other than a starship float just drifting through space like we have been. Fair. That being, that being said, once you have surveyed the planet, detailed whether or not it is viable, we would like you to continue your survey mission beyond this system. Any intelligence you can gather, whether it's mapping additional star systems or finding new life that doesn't want to board our ship, that would be nice. We would appreciate it if you would go and do that. And we are sending multiple other away teams roughly in that ship direction. Alpha team is going to be following you shortly after your departure. Why? I know. Why? Hypris, I know. Why? We can handle it. They're not going where you're going. They're going on a slightly different vector. Okay, well, the they could go in a very slightly different vector and go the opposite direction. It's only a minus sign. It's the smallest of differences. Exactly. We would like to have the thunderous ascent within a rescuable distance. Should anything happen to you or anything happen to them? All right. You while you are out. So there, you're saying you that Alpha be... Team is going to need our help. That's what you say. Okay, I'll take that. Get rescued by Alpha Team. Die horribly. No, 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 no. <laughs> we rescue Alpha Team. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I like, I like that, that proposition. That's fine. Okay, continue. <clears throat> <sighs> It never stops. It doesn't. Listen. <laughs> we will be sending other teams your way as the mission progresses. Um, certainly as we can, as we finish their vessels. I know Beta and Delta team are both slated to have ships finished within the month. And from there, hopefully we will be able to gather enough information to keep the Endurance safer than it has been there um are, are there any questions yes <laughs> i was gonna ask if it was time for questions you said um there's no intelligent life is there life do we know what do we know we have picked up biomarkers it does have a full biosphere Great. as far as specifics we are unsure the world itself appears to be temperate not on the aquatic, polar, molten. He start. He starts listing off various worst case scenarios for planets, desert, wasteland. That's all the possibility. I'm sorry. You're saying it's not these, or that it, it could be these? It's none of the above. Great, love that. I'm if there's nothing that. wrong with it, it is a perfect candidate. There's definitely going to be something wrong with it. Oh, yeah, we're only on mission four. There's going to be something wrong with it. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was too meta. And Kai didn't say that. <laughs> Did anyone else just hear a fourth wall get... <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Ships a cylinder. What I... are you talking about? Also, I, I had a shattering glass sound effect. <laughs> I don't know if you guys um, heard it, because I am sharing my like desktop uh -huh. sound to y'all. Um, but mm -hmm. someone just followed, as you said, did you hear someone break the fourth wall? <laughs> so, oh, nice. shout out to, um... I do have something. Amazing. Perfect. It's a lot of glass. It's a lot of glass being shattered. <laughs> that was too much, maybe. Wow. Don't worry about it, it's fine. But, uh, TLA Cucharola roll? Thanks for, thanks for following me, welcome to the astronomy family. Thanks for your excellent timing. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Are there are there further questions? Kai looks at somebody um, else. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, specialist brick. Are we to use force to defend yourselves? Of course, you are welcome to defend yourselves. Right. We'd prefer if you didn't start a war or conquer an entire planet on your own. Yeah, last team that tried that had to get rescued. 
I kind of like oh. whisper over to Brick. I'm like, yeah, w- our team usually uses a little bit of force. Don't worry. <laughs> he just smiles. Kind of more collectors. <laughs> Airy shakes his head. <clears throat> Within reason. I have reasons. A reasonably large amount of force. Um, are we? How how big of a Dawn's Horizon team are we taking? I heard Eris is asleep. <laughs> Eris is your medical officer, the robot known as Artie. I don't know why you made him your medical officer, but he is. He's good at it. Is currently experimenting on your compatriot, Eris. Um, why? Wait, 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 wait. Experimenting. I, th- I thought we knew what the outcome was supposed to be. <laughs> thought he would oh. die. <laughs> My, the agreement that was reached was that it would be an improvement. Okay. Okay. I mean, that sounds like a positive to me. I don't know. You guys haven't met Artie. You'll, he's a special boy. (laughs) (laughs) If he experiments on people, I don't know about that. Don't let him, don't, if he asks you about any diagnostics, don't do them. Okay. A C is fine. That's it. Beyond, beyond Artie and uh, Eris, of course, we are sending Zen, your newest team member. Uh, the transfer did go through, as well as the alien subadult you picked up. I believe the child's name is Satsi. Mm-hmm. I was like, "What's a subadult?" This is me in real life, and then I just I realized you just mean like not an adult, like a child. <laughs> yes, a yes. uh, teenager. Fancy words. Teen. Yes. Just tweet. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are no other away teams heading in the direction that we suspect Trakens may be in. And if you can reunite her with her people, that would be optimal. Really quick, um, breaking the, not breaking the fourth wall, just exiting the walls for a second. Um, Bill Nash just resubscribed. Thank you so much, Bill Nash. They've been subscribed for 22 months. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Also, he said, someone say sub-adult. I am here. (laughs) 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 Welcome. Uh, we all, oh. Oh, and Lynn Jersey also resubscribed. Thank you so much. (laughs) Uh, all right. We are also sending along the pocket carrier's pilot, Cordum. He has been instrumental in adapting our warp drive technology to their specifications. And uh, I believe he'll make a valuable member of your crew. How, um... How... mm, Who's... mm, Have you worked with him? Who's worked with him? Just wondering. Chief Engineer. Chief Engineer Quarren and Major Dossie have Dossie have both been working with him. All right, I'll talk to uh, So far, reports have been that Cordum is trustworthy. I would be I would be cautious painting all of a species in the same light. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. But like, he was like at some point that he probably wanted to kill us. He didn't. He didn't. I know. There's a lot of people that want to kill us when they don't, and that's like fine. Um, Did we ever ask why he was in behind bars? No, <laughs> probably should have. <laughs> we'll talk. I we'll would, talk. I would highly recommend it. Maybe it's because he didn't want to kill us. Probably. We have also added uh, another crew member to your roster. Um, we're not sure why, but he was added to the crew list after being woken up prematurely. Uh, a Thaddeus Crawl. Oh, yeah. Lab assistant, yeah, it's first him with class. Us. Yeah, he's going he's to be great. your he cabin must be boy. So confused. Janitor. Oh, he is terribly confused. Um, he has no idea why he's been up for the last two months. Don't worry, it'll be the adventure of a lifetime. Oh boy. I, I, and then I bring I, the colonist back in one piece. Yeah, Kai, Kai notices that Brick and uh, Ari are a little confused, <laughs> and I'm like, it's a long story. Uh, Leaf decided to wake somebody up. Randomly, I don't know what his plan there was, but apparently he's our new friend we now. We had a mess, and Thad's really good at mopping those up. Okay, that was not why you woke him up, though. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Also, I really like your hair. 
<laughs> Never met anyone else who has colored hair. I like your hair. Um, Thank you. Mine's dyed. I hope that's. I don't know if yours is natural. Nah, still cool. Um. <laughs> the, the the admiral just uh, massages his forehead for a second and then says, "T zero D D has also made a copy of themselves and is sending them along as your quartermaster." Should you need anything oh. manufactured, <laughs> T0DD-1 will do so for you. Okay. We have they Todd won't... the sequel? <laughs> My understanding Let's is go. that they are identical and connected via quantum comms. Okay. You will be speaking to T0DD. Cool. Have you guys met Todd? I like that guy. Have oh. we met Todd Grant? Would they have Probably. met Probably. It was unnerving. He's... I mean, who hasn't? Come on. <laughs> He's great. He's uh, terrifying. Don't let Leaf touch the button that though. control him. Actually, hey, last I, time I it went fine. I'm gonna be honest. I don't either. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Someone got you your stuff for you. Um, okay. So that being said, the admiral looks up, looks at the four of you and says, "Are there any additional questions?" I don't think so. Uh. So wait. Um. Just. Just want to clarify. So you're saying we're going to go look at the star system. Check it out. Let you know. Yes. Not die. And then. Preferably not. Yeah. And then we could just keep going. Yes. And we can decide where we want to go. That is your mission. You have seven and a half months of fuel. Okay. (laughs) And we assume that there are places out there where you can refill that fuel. That sounds, you know, that sounds like a very good idea. Don't involve humanity in conflicts or intergalactic incidents. No No more than usual. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. <laughs> well then, uh, dismissed. <laughs> Gather your crew and. Oh, if before, you before ever we go, before we go, um, <coughs> yeah, the, uh, the special items I requisitioned have those been procured? Or should they I check are... with T zero DD? I would check with T zero DD that okay. everything is there. They should be on their way to your quarters. Lovely. Thank you. Of course. Uh, dismissed. I have work to do. <laughs> Bye. And, Wait, we're yeah, doing this thing now, right? Bye. <laughs> the admiral just dematerializes. He's no longer there. <laughs> you have to salute back. You can put it down now. We have to keep I standing here until know. he salutes back. <laughs> How that works. A, a single hand just appears out of nowhere and just does that and then disappears. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, so... You make your way down to the away team hangar. And uh, <coughs> Brick and Eri, you've never been to this hangar before. Um, when you boarded the ship, it was through the the main colony hangar, which is much, 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 much bigger, but mm-hmm. also something that's only going to be used for when the ship reaches its destination. The away team hangar is seriously cool. There mm-hmm. are racks of spaceships just all along the all along the ceiling along the walls um there are a couple of medium weight class to small weight class ships just landed on the hangar floor um and you even see the enormous outline of what looks like a cruiser of some kind outside docked with the main ship and you can see stenciled along its hull the name thunderous ascent <coughs> And uh, underneath, in as a subtitle, Alpha Team. And uh, yeah, as you as you walk in, you notice that uh, there there's a lot of activity. Um, there are people loading all sorts of stuff uh, into into one ship in particular. She's kind of flat, kind of uh, kind of funny looking in her own special way. This is the Dawnbreaker. Would you like to share screens? Um, yes. I, yes. I did want to have a quick scene 
<laughs> but we can do that after of us we, walking down the hallway together and getting no brick and airy. but yes we will because you guys still have to go back to your quarters on board the ship cool um also bill nash said thunderous o comma sent that's a fart sir <laughs> <laughs> good love it thank you <laughs> you guys are going to use that against the alpha team this is going to be great. oh yes sharing my screen in three wait two wait okay one one now <coughs> did it work Fuck. Uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on it's gonna work it's where it's it's fine there we go wait why is it Oh, hi. I understand. Oh, what is going on? Hold on. Uh -oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. Look We're at fine. this now. Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't no, look at that's it. Ju that's just my it. <laughs> oh. oh, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. We're fixing it. It's fixed now. Now it's fixed. It's beautiful. Everything's fine. <laughs> so That was glorious. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I this tried. This is the Dawnbreaker. Oh, wow. I had a little too much fun. And this is this is more or less what you see as you walk into the hangar. Just this ship landed mm -hmm. and being loaded. You you notice this sort of weird like bug-like aircraft that's been folded up and squished up a little bit being ratcheted up into its shuttle bay. Um and you notice the chief engineer of the ship just calling out to her crew saying, "Careful, careful. I, no, no, too fast." Too fat, Jerry. I told you we're not using the mechanical arms here. <laughs> and then she turns around to the rest of you and says, "Ah, Dawn's Horizon. Good to see you." Quarren, how you doing? Uh, hey, girl in gray hairs by the second. Oh, <laughs> this is a wig. So not a wig. It's not a wig. But this is dyed. So <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Um, Bill Nash, but it is I, I tabletop should, this is simulator. The, this would be a good point time to point out, I think, that Leaf's hair has no color. It is like white as a sheet. Oh. Um, like, <coughs> like you could print on this. <laughs> uh, Probably useful for some stuff later on, I'm sure. We'll, yeah. We will find a use for it. Which means that <laughs> what three out of the four of us have pretty loud hair colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, Zen's got you on style, though. He's got a mohawk. I'm... Wait, he does? Whoa. Yes. This changes everything, Grant. You needed to tell me this, like, like months ago. He is he a mohawk? It. He changed it recently. He said he had a bad case of cryosleep hair. Okay, um, I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> me, Kypris, and me, Vicky, have a lot of feelings about that. <laughs> so... I mean, it's, it's not like the... The crazy raider mohawks you see and say <laughs> fallout no it's not like that um anyway this is your ship i had way too much fun drawing it okay so <laughs> um all of your stuff is being currently loaded aboard except for your personal effects uh Quarren says yeah i i decided i didn't want t0dd going through your stuff because knowing him he might put something dangerous in there or he might remember this, remember something bad that y'all did at some point and short circuit and then destroy things so that's up to y'all to do however i'm gonna need to know what crew quarters you're using because the rest are going to be kind of just set up as storage well we need and she turns around one two three four And, and this is essentially the point where I say, here you go, here's a map of your ship. Take your rooms. Yay! Are we going to uh, be roomies? Oh, of course we are, Brick. We're always roomies. Can you zoom out ever so slightly further? Do you guys... Boop. Kai, Kai hears you, the very, very tender conversation <laughs> happening and goes... <laughs> that's... Turns around and goes... I love you guys. You're so good. Um, oh, do you want hey. two rooms, though? I don't want to... Shove you guys into one small room. Quarren, can we knock a wall down? There are also plenty I of rooms. I can do it. Um, <laughs> I, give, give, us, give us a couple of hours. We can do it. Um, are these actually lined up with each other correctly? 
it's like in terms of which end of the ship i realize yes. i'm pointing at my screen is that you you're, can see what i'm pointing at you're okay um, <laughs> bottom of the screen is aft top of the screen is forward what does sand station mean sanitization it, yeah it's it's, it's oh. a bathroom yeah essentially bathroom oh bathroom, gotcha. locker room that sort of thing laser net space, turret so access that's <laughs> wait yes. where in the middle <laughs> Um, oh, wait, no, the server room's at that end? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll be next to the galley. <laughs> okay. Leaf is going to be next to the galley. Boop. And, uh, Wonder can have the quarters next to me. Okay. <laughs> that's very good. Close to the snacks, I mean, of course that's where Wonder would be. Uh-huh. If, if we were to potentially, I don't know, be boarded, where, where would that happen at? <laughs> Good question, actually. You That's have... where Brick wants to be. Well, you have airlocks on either side here. Okay. That lead into kind of a dining area, although there is a corner that it looks like Kai set up as a, as a bar. Space of some bar! Kind <laughs> with all sorts of weird and exotic beverages. Oh, yeah, they're um, fun. <laughs> the other main point of entrance would be through the shuttle bay or the cargo hold. So this is like two levels right now, right? That we're looking this at. Is... She's a two decker. She's got two ship, two decks to her. Excellent. I mean, you want to go like right there next to Leaf, like on the other side of the hallway? Yeah, that sounds fine. All right. Well, I'll get to get to work on knocking down that wall, and uh, I'll make sure I oh, set Rick things can up do so it. that I yeah, no, I got it. Don't worry. Just um, you are not going to put a scratch on my ship. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And, and you notice while she's saying that she may or may not be resting a hand on a very large wrench that's stuck into her belt. Um, <laughs> Don't mess with Claire. Um, technically, Eris is over here. And uh, Kai, where would you like to be? I don't know. Um, shit. I don't know, man. Um, I'll take. Wonder was supposed to go next to Zen, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's very clearly labeled. That's okay. It was. I kind of oh, wanted to time. room next to Leaf, but um, I'll we go. Can, okay, Wonder can go where Wonder was, and Kai and I'll go and next I can to you. <laughs> yeah. Buds. Boop. Okay, that cool. Works. That will totally not come into play at some point in the future. What? Um. All right. So. Uh, that being said, are you going Wait. to tour your ship or are you going to go back to your quarters? Did we make a good choice? Um, yeah. I would like to tour the ship. I mean, <laughs> or yeah. I would like to yeah. just like... Well, okay. okay, so Kai's been around the ship a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So she doesn't need a tour to know where things are, but she might kind of lead the tour for you guys, I think. If, if Claren's good. still working on stuff. Yeah, Quarren is definitely still working on loading that strange bug-like vehicle into your shuttle bay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard about that. <laughs> uh, so you start walking up the gantry to the um, to the forward end of the shuttle bay, right about here-ish. And uh, before you can enter, a panel opens and the door closes. And you hear a robotic voice say, Please present your arm for bioscan. And Kai presents her arm, expecting this. And then... <laughs> a small robotic arm pops out, grabs your arm, mm -hmm. and then a, and then some sort of pose-like thing pops out and stabs you with a needle. Mm -hmm. It processes and for I a second a little... and... <laughs> processes for a second and then says... Confirmed identity. Kypris, you may enter, Captain. Thank you. Uh and, and then she the turns same. she turns around as she walks through the door and she's like I'm sorry this was not <laughs> my idea I can't remember whose it was but I don't think it was oh, mine There's only one there's only one person whose idea this could be <laughs> I mean it's a very familiar jabbing feeling Leaf holds out his arm um specifically oh the port on his arm that is designed for this kind of thing. It's so not fair. It's so not fair. And then and, and Kai is saying this. Also, like, what happens when... I know Ares is already on board, but how the hell is he going to get through this? Does it stab the metal in his arm? 
Uh, what? Oh, no, no. We have a data link here for Eris. Oh, yes. Fine. It's totally painless. Great. I'm glad. The, the I mean, door. would you like me to rig it up to be painful? That could be arranged. No, I just think... No, please. <laughs> Whatever. Also... The door, open, the door opens, and another reptilian crew member uh, sticks his head out, and Zen says, Yeah, why is this the way we I, we bioscan ourselves for access to the ship? This makes no sense. I wanted to I, do I, eyes. How you doing? Okay. I wanted uh, to do eyes. You wanted to do that to your eyes? No, not... not <laughs> God, obviously. Oh, whatever, I'll see you inside. <laughs> okay, it stabs the rest of you on your way in. Uh -huh. Brick's putting uh -huh. his gauntlet back on as he's walking through the door. <laughs> and you find yourselves in the shuttle bay. Um, at this point, that strange machine is kind of halfway in. You also notice in, kind of off to your left here, um, toward the forward end of the ship, there seems to be a little bit of a workshop put together. And a and a two wheeled vehicle that some of you might not be completely aware of what it actually is. I got a motorcycle. <laughs> Have Brick and Airy ever seen a motorcycle where where they come from? I don't think so. Okay, then this thing. Have you seen remember. Brick? <clears throat> you guys have never. You guys have never seen a motorcycle. No. no. She walks over and like pets it as if it's a horse, <laughs> and is like, Ari this goes up and pets it too. <laughs> like, is this what we're supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's an uh, iron steed. She's a motorcycle. She's a motorcycle. She's a, she's a bike with a motor, and she's great. I love her. <laughs> she's new. Sounds fun and dangerous. I yeah. like it. It's very fun. So you ride it? Yeah. I'll show you guys when we're on a place that, you know, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Um, so beyond this workshop. <laughs> also, wait really quick, because yes. I've been trying to... Bill Nash before said when we were stabbing ourselves to get in the ship, please present your arm for a surprise tattoo. And imagine <laughs> if it gave a little mark every time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, do we have to do that every time to get on the shuttle bay? <laughs> While the system's like... active. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, it does have a mode possible. that doesn't require that, but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in not stabbing yourself repeatedly in order to, like, get into your house? Getting stabbed. Okay, stabbing yourself would time. be taking it a little too far. Whoa. <laughs> I'm dark. Uh, I have to stab uh, myself way too often as it is. Well, speaking of dark, beyond this little workshop that you've discovered, there is a clearly labeled heavy bulkhead that says missile bay at the very front of the ship <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, Zen I like takes a step enthusiasm. back I like the enthusiasm I I agree but um okay I'll I'll take care of the missiles it's fine uh oh. I'll let you play with them on the bridge while we're targeting oh. things Gosh. <laughs> are those the wait are those the big ones? They are the big ones. Okay, we're gonna not use those unless we're about to die, okay? <laughs> That's I completely kind of agree. the rule. <laughs> we can use everything else, but the nuclear weapons, we're gonna wait on. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least they're not antimatter. Do you know how dangerous the power core of this thing is? I don't like don't, to think about it. Yeah, don't ever let Quarren talk to you for an hour about what antimatter will do when it loses containment. Um, by the way, he points and, at... And maybe don't look in the storage bay. <laughs> okay, now I'm even more concerned. He, he points at a seemingly empty spot in the shuttle bay and says, Are we planning on turning the stealth thing off at any point? I've... I've... He, po he points at what you're just realizing is his equivalent of a black eye. I've run into that thing five times this morning. You could have turned the stealth off. I can't find the door. Oh. <laughs> Bessie, do you mind? There, There's a humming sound and this long, sleek looking starship just materializes in front of you. Whoa. <laughs> 
Um, She's our lander. Thank you. Please. I didn't want. I off. didn't want the motor. I didn't want the wheels to be jealous. She gives him a little like, like little shoulder pat thing, and is like, "Don't lead with your face next time, okay?" <laughs> Are you kidding? You could stub There's a no toe problem. first. No nice. warning sticker on it or something. <laughs> The warning sticker would probably also become invisible. Although, oh, maybe not. Shit. I'm not sure. We did, we did come up with a way of reprogramming it to specifically weave things visible on its hull. Okay. If we want them to be. Never mind, the warning sticker works. Uh, okay. <laughs> that being said, there's also a very large set of doors in the back of this hangar. And uh, you peek through... You can see your cargo bay. Everything is nice and organized for the time being. Um, and you also notice that uh, your the trailer and the uh, exploring vehicle are both in there, all nicely tied down to the floor so that if something happens, they don't go flying. And uh, I think Kai and Leaf, you would both know this pretty well because you've worked on the ship. You also have your drone bay, tech workshop, and engineering in the very back. Nice. Kai has spent a lot of time in, I think, all three of those. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. And of course, you've got deck one, which is the command deck and also where everybody spends most of their time. And as you are walking up the stairs, you almost run into Artie. Artie! <laughs> Who now has shit. an action. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> And uh, Artie so cute. turns to um, the four of you and then notices that there are two new people and says, Ah, greetings, citizens. Can I interest you in a class A diet topic? Artie, I'm going to oh, stop no. you. I think that's what Kai said not to do. Is yeah. standard procedure? <laughs> she turns around and goes, yeah, don't let him do that. Artie, okay. we talked about this. <laughs> do not ask call. anymore. <laughs> here, I deleted the memory bank. Very good. We're doing good. How's Eris? <laughs> Have you killed Eris him yet? Is currently in stasis Great. And functioning. Perfect. So glad that he's not brain dead. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I have removed the cognitive capabilities from Eris and put them in a safe stasis unit. They will be fine. Thank you. Of course. That unit is so capable of expansion and lethality. <laughs> and Artie immediately just hovers back into the med bay. Bye. That's I'm my. That, that's our him. medical officer. Yeah. Uh, I am not going to get hurt. <laughs> he's okay. He's great at what he does. He just also is great at dissecting bodies. Um, so you just need to be very specific with what you want him to do. What if I'm unconscious? I will be there. And if I'm unconscious. What if you're unconscious? Which is also very likely. Um, <laughs> he has standing instructions. Zen and Leaf will probably be there. <laughs> Crew are to be revived, not dissected. Unauthorized okay. individuals are to be dissected first. What? Are we authorized? You're authorized. You're good. Okay. <laughs> In the and, I'll give you... You, and I'll give you one guess as to who designed our uh, biometric system. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. From on the, the bright bay, side, you hear the sound your of blood's on file now. Whirring up. There he goes. Let's... Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the door closes. Uh, you have your bridge, of course. You're going to be spending a lot of time in there. Is there a captain's um, chair? <laughs> yes, there is a captain's chair. Wonder should uh, be there... sitting in it, of course. Not me, but, you know. Actually, you haven't seen Wonder yet. Oh, okay. Uh, there's also... Oh, the... right. Wonder's the captain, isn't he? Uh -huh. isn't, isn't she? Uh -huh. someone, someone put her as the captain for some reason. Uh... For context, um, Amanda and McKenna, uh, Wonder is a space dog basically so uh, not much we figured out yeah she's our captain. i got a little bit of deets from grant <laughs> uh you also have the armory 
you guys pass yeah. by, you all, you notice a hulking suit of power armor just in a corner, powered down, waiting. Oh. Uh, you, I, th I think, Kai and Leaf, you kind of recognize it because it was part of your loot from the last mission. You kind of just oh, slapped a Dawn's property of Dawn's Horizon sticker on it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, which is still there, just right on the chest plate. I love it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just it's just sitting there, kind of slouched over. <clears throat> You have your nice dining area and Kai's bar, the space bar. Space oh. bar. When did you get that put in? I did it myself. <laughs> can't have I can't we can't it, have a bunch of alcohol and not a bar. And as she oh goes by, she nice. reaches up behind the bar and opens a little mini fridge and grabs the equivalent the alien equivalent of a of a light beer. Which she has figured out is a light beer because she's tried, tried basically everything. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. Probably a lot of trial and error, and probably real error. Um, so yeah, you've got all of the crew quarters, of course. There's a stasis bay at the very back. And you actually come across, coming out of the stasis bay, your one of your alien crew members, oh. Satsi, um, who is actually walking alongside Wonder, who's getting a nice ear rub. Or at least you think it's an ear rub. You're not sure where her ears are. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, the for those who haven't met Satsi before, she's kind of this uh, small, all alien, um, got compound eyes that do blink, um, and semi translucent blue skin. Mm. And uh, she just kind of looks at all of you and um, raises a hand in greeting specifically to Kai. Sati, we've got some new crew members. I told you that we were getting people, but they're here now. This is Brick. Hi. Hello. This is Ari. <laughs> I'm Brick. She says nothing. Instead, she walks up to, um, let's see, who does she walk up to first? She walks up to you, Brick, oh, and reaches I... out a hand and tries to touch you on the arm. She's chill. Yeah. This is, yeah. Okay. Um... You have a choice. God. <laughs> you, you feel, and with your background, you know what this feels like. You feel the, the sense that someone is trying to enter your mind. Do you resist or do you allow her in? Go for this because I don't know. <gasps> yeah. You you let her in. Yeah. Okay. You just, you feel a, a warmth that you more or less translate to greeting and um, just a, a, bunch of, a bunch of images of smiling face, faces flash through your mind. Are they, are... Okay. <laughs> As this is happening, you notice Aerie's a little more on edge and there's some slight cracklings of purple lightning between their um, crystals. As Whoa. soon as that happens, <laughs> as soon as that happens, Satsi backs off completely, and you notice she almost goes into a fighting stance. Hey, hey, it's it's okay. hey, hey. Whoa. She's fine. <clears throat> oh, did I? No, you're Was done. I nervous no, again? You're fine. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I just got nervous. Satsi is my best friend. <laughs> Satsi's just nervous. In general, <laughs> she's she's new here. That was sick, though. That was very cool. <laughs> Can you do that we on command, talk. or do we have to scare you? D leave. What? <laughs> That's not how you talk to people. <laughs> Please don't try to scare me. <laughs> uh, I know it's while you. Are, oh. <laughs> while you're having this conversation, Satsi walks up and tries to touch Ari's Ar arm. Ari's like a little bit tense but kind of lets it happen. Ah, uh, cool. Knowing that Brick okay. was okay. <laughs> okay, you sense, in your case, you sense more curiosity and mm. tinged with a bit of wariness. Um, and they al you almost feel like they're trying to poke and prod at your memories, see if they can see a little bit more than what you're presently thinking. Do can you I allow resist? that at all? No. <laughs> roll, a will, roll a will save. Okay. Right. 
Bill Nash says she One used tele emoji on you. It's super upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Satsi, use hyper beam. Oof. Okay, I got an eight. <laughs> That's not quite enough. Um, <laughs> okay. Even even for an alien child, she seems to have She's a teen. level. Yeah, a, an alien teenager, <laughs> um, which is more or less what you've what you figured out she is. She has a control of her abilities that uh, you, Ari, have only seen a few times. Mm. And how does that make make you feel? Nobody else is aware of this, but you, except for what you physically show. Um, I think you kind of start to see that lightning going in between again, and now the crystals are shaking a little bit too. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Satsi picks up on that and stops probing. And instead, you feel a little bit of the greeting warmth that I described a second ago, um, but it's a lot more hesitant. Mm. And she takes her hand off of your arm and goes, and goes back to petting Wonder. <laughs> Who, by the way, Wonder, the two of you haven't met yet, is Wonder is currently chewing on what appears to be a ration pack and is kind of oblivious to everything else that's going on, but really enjoys the pets. Okay. <laughs> Paint this in my mind's eye, please. How big is Wonder? Wonder? <laughs> if we were talking dog size, uh, Wonder's about Great Dane. She's Wonder's, oh. a, she's Wonder's a big girl. Can you uh, can you show us please the the icon for Wonder for anyone who hasn't seen it before? Look at that beautiful dog. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, Wonder has no eyes to speak of. Um, there are maybe some <coughs> dimples on their face that uh, that maybe once along the lines of their species evolution may have been eyes, but they have a long thin head, and as they move, they kind of slither. Um, on their four feet, but they also look like they've got very, 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 very soft black fur. So it's like a greyhound, but like weird. Uh, I think I think giant weasel creature kind of fits the bill best. Yeah, I that's think that's fair. always been the best description of Wonder. Wonder the weasel. Yep. Um. That that being said, uh, yeah. Unless you unless you stop them or try to talk to them anymore, Satsi leads Wonder back toward the dining area. And you hear one of the doors to the rooms behind you open, and uh, someone walks out and says, Good. But they're gone. That's about time that thing gives me the creeps. You'll warm up to wonder. I'll warm up to wonder once wonder stops looking at me like I might be food. If you give her food, then she's... She'll stop looking at you like your food. You give your pets food as treats. Yeah, they would die if we didn't. I mean, my. <laughs> what kind of pets did you guys have? Well, like, like it might be different if we lived on a planet where Wonder could like run around and get stuff, but like that we're on a ship. <laughs> I'm used to ships that have vermin on board. Oh. That's where the food comes from. I Are mean, we about ready to depart? Um, I believe so. Uh, I have to check in with um, Quarren and Darcy real quick before we go. Make sure everything's a-okay. Quarren still had a couple renovations that she wanted to make. And then... Uh, We've gotten orders from uh, Wadsworth, so should be good. A few hours. Very well. Alert me, and I shall make myself ready. Sounds good. And Cordova walks back into their room and closes the door. So that's Cordova. Um, he, they, don't talk to us much. Um. <laughs> There, we found them on, uh, I would have asked Cordum's pronouns, if pronouns are a thing in Cordum's language, what are they, Grant? Um, he, they, typically. Cool. Okay. Good. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like there would have been a long conversation before we agreed to have them on the ship. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> long conversation. Um, but I'm trying to sum it up for <laughs> for Brick and Airy. Um Yeah. Uh, he's... Oh, we're hoping he's chill. Um, he seems chill. Um, everyone else seems he thinks he's chill, so... Um, it's cool. Uh, yeah. <coughs> He's got a cool voice. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, Grant, you want to switch back? Yes, we can switch back. All right, and... In... <coughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Apologies for my go. random coughing. <laughs> By the way, I had COVID last week. <coughs> Hold on. No. All right. <laughs> All right. So, you've had your tour of the ship. Um and I'm I'm going to assume all of you end up going back to your various quarters in the interim to gather what belongings you have and bring them to the ship. That being said, this is your opportunity for any any character scenes you might want to do. Um I have a couple of ideas. Um but it's it's entirely up to you what we what we end up doing. So if anyone wants to go first, we can we can start with whoever. Well, I think we should definitely just like all do a, this. Could be like the last thing we do before we actually go. But like I'll have a little like team powwow. I'll make drinks. We'll all hang out and like. <coughs> also, I want to make it clear that Kai um, has an extensive bar set up. Um, and does include non-alcoholic beverages as well, because she can. She's fancy like that. I don't know if that works into her backstory at all. Maybe she just got into. <laughs> when, when would she have mixed drinks? Um, <laughs> really into mixology. Yeah. After, after we found a bunch of alien booze. Yeah. And then had leave time. This is yeah. That's kind of when mm -hmm. she figured it out. Is like this last few, however many. What was it? Months between. A couple of months. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, mu how much? After have you working been... on the warp drive. Please tell me it was after. <laughs> it was after. I, Warp drive was priority. <laughs> I'm curious how much you used Zen as your guinea pig for these. Oh, yeah. No, me and Zen were kind of just like, a, all right, one's probably going to be really bad. One's probably going to be pretty good. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a fun okay. time. I probably also made drinks for Alpha Team at some point. Because <laughs> they... Cause, um, that's a conversation, but like, cause Satsi's been chilling with Rima some, right? Mm -hmm. So Rima was probably over at some point and brought probably the rest of Alpha Team. And I was like, I'll make you guys drinks. And then got them fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> mm, we hate I Alpha Team be. here. <laughs> everyone hates, hey, everyone hates Alpha hey, Team. Some of them have been great. Yes. Uh, you say that we've, as we've we slightly. <laughs> Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say um, you two probably have run into Alpha Team. They were probably one of the teams you worked with. Um, okay. Not very much uh, because you mostly worked with another team. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm going to say your first impression of them were these guys are kind of douchebags. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they're. They are very full of themselves typically. and i'm assuming i'm assuming the other team because it's kind of a it's a, it's not just like a uh dawn horizon thing that um we all think that they suck uh it's kind of like every single team <laughs> kind of generally <laughs> thinks it. that they suck so like you guys would have known yeah. if you've worked with other teams before too okay oh yeah cool uh actually that could that could be that could be something that was <laughs> happening say while um Brick and Airy, you two were getting your getting your requisition for um for departure. So yeah, I like this idea. So you we're gonna start with the two of you. Um, seeing as you are never separated, you walk into the quartermaster's office. Um, you've actually never been here before. Mm. Um, it's a large door, uh, bulkhead even, that as it opens something's not right with it it just makes this awful ratcheting noise it grinds mm. and as 
uh, when you look a little bit closer, you notice that there are dents and scuff marks and holes in the on the inside side of it. And uh, while the rest of the Endurance's floors are generally clean and well kept up and all of its other stuff is well taken care of, for some reason, the waiting benches, some of them have like their backs bent out of shape. Um, there are gouge marks in the floor as if something heavy hit it at one point. Um, it's just weird. It's really strange walking in here because this is the you've never seen any place this beat up before. And uh, mm -hmm. as you walk to the back of it, you notice that there are four buttons on the counter. One mm -hmm. is labeled standard service. Another actually five buttons. I miscounted. Another is labeled experimental behavior mode one. He has five now. Another oh no, is, is this some sort of like... <laughs> another is labeled Experimental Behavior Mode 2. And then there's 3 and 4. And on a nameplate is the alphanumeric combination of letters T0DDL3N4BTABT. Uh. What do you do? Is ta oh. have to... Do we have to push one of these? <laughs> Nothing's happening at the moment. Okay. Why are Why are we here again? You're here to pick up your special order. Okay. Oh. Your special order. Your special. Order? I'm sorry. Your special order. Um, that's from a <laughs> special order. Special order. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. Special order. I, I knew we were missing thing, something. Um, <laughs> I can put cute. them on, I guess. It doesn't really you work. I saw with... those everywhere at Disneyland, and they're so cool. Mm -hmm. I want one. Anyway. anyway. So, your so, options are standard service or one through four. You can always try hitting multiple. Um. I mean... Just to be clear, Kai and Leaf are not here for this, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> You know, okay. like standard. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. know. Are we supposed to push one of these to get your I package? I feel like this is a test. I think it is. I think we're gonna have to like kill something. I mean, <laughs> if we do, which we hopefully don't, I think we can handle well, it. I mean, yeah, then, of, course, of course we can handle it, but like, well. Standard sounds like the safest route. Okay. I'm tired of what? <laughs> uh, you hear a buzzer in the back of this uh, uh, in the back of this room, and through lines of shelves, you see the hobbling form of a biodroid. Uh, not very human looking. Uh, they definitely have a serious bout of the uncanny valley. There are errant wires sticking out of odd places and uh they have blue blue ocular sensors that uh approach and as they reach the counter they look between the two of you uh very shakily and say greetings security personnel what can i get for you i think we've asked i mean yeah that he looks totally on harmful blue eyes means good i, think. I don't know um <laughs> We're here to pick up, I uh, believe, something really special. Please state your designation. Brick. <laughs> Searching for Brick. <laughs> Brick order located. The robot turns around in three seconds. Head, torso, then the rest of it. So and cool. starts walking back into the back of the room. And uh, as you do, you hear the door ratchet open behind you, and uh, someone else walks in. Um, he's an heirloom human, uh, kind of has a bit of a swagger going as he's walking through, and you see just this giant blue on a white background A patch on his away team uniform. And... Uh, you see um, the name tag across his front say Adams. And he says, ah, how's it going? Security personnel. You here to see the, here to see the bot? Uh, so. We're just here to get a package for him. Yeah. 
Well, I'll just uh, I'll queue up behind you, I guess. Um, hey, what 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 mode did you try? Uh, standard. <laughs> standard. Didn't know we. That's boring. <laughs> Here, 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 oh, here. look, experimental doesn't sound like a great time, <laughs> so I am not going to push either of those buttons. Well, uh, experimental is, it's, I, I'll show you. Um, you hear the sound of the robot returning, and uh, they place a massive weapon on the counter. And then a, <laughs> just a case of what appear to be very large power cells. And they say... Your delivery, Rick. One plasma cannon and five replacement power cells. Is there I anything mean, else you require? You get anything? I did not. Okay. I probably will, though, because this looks cool. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Very well. Please return should you need anything additional. And you hear the other guy uh, just say, Psst, watch this. And he reaches forward and hits one of the other experimental nodes. The robot goes rigid for a second, because you get the sense it hadn't finished. And uh, the OA team member's like, Todd, and he hits the button again, and then keeps just hitting it. Todd, what, what's wrong with you, buddy? And uh, what are you two doing <laughs> as this happens? Just I don't know about you, Brick, but I am not going Slowly pushing gonna... Aerie back. <laughs> I would recommend running. <laughs> As you're about to get to the door, you notice the robot stand up, stock straight, and its eyes turn red. Uh, I think that Morning. means bad. you have activated this unit's murder mode. Please, assume your species-appropriate death position immediately. Whoa, 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 Todd, Todd. And immediately stuff starts getting thrown. <laughs> you said this was supposed to be fun and cool. <laughs> this is exactly why I didn't push this button. <laughs> oh, well, team, bye. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> as, as you just see knives come flying out of the room and just hitting the wall oh. behind you. <laughs> I thought we were still stuck in there. You just, we, we you got just, out. Hear, you just hear the sound, the sound of the the alpha team member saying, "Todd, seriously, no, stop it, Todd. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, we, uh, I didn't nine. know you were done." <laughs> he's fine. He'll yeah, be he's fine. good. He's I mean, good. he did it to himself. Yeah, yeah. Alpha team, remember, you got this. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so you've met you've met Todd now. Um, okay. Uh, who's next? He's like a sweet guy. Leaf, you go, um, because then I have more time sure. to keep coughing off, off mic. <laughs> that works. Um, okay, Leaf, as you're, as you're going to go... I mean, I can, I can come up with something because I have a, something planned. Is there anything else you'd rather do? Uh, I mean, I think the thing... I think if, if you're thinking what I'm thinking you're thinking, uh, then I'm thinking that's a good thing to be thinking. We shall let's, see. <laughs> let's see what you've got planned. I'm um, curious. As, as you're passing by um, the medical bays, uh, you actually are stopped by Lana, the, um, the team medic slash team surgeon for Alpha Team, who's been working on some improvements with you. Uh, and she says, ah, Leaf, um, do you have a moment? Uh, sure. Uh, she takes you back into the, um, into the essentially cybernetic modification suite that they have on board the ship, because of course they do, and says, uh, listen, um, all of those additions should be coming online shortly. Uh, I, I timed them up about with your leaving. Just, are you sure there's nothing else I can get you? These are, I mean, they're useful, but is there anything else you would like to maybe help your survival at all? I mean... Don't get me wrong. I mean, normally with my team, it's, you know, 
could you, Lana, could you implant a subdermal flamethrower? Lana, could you give me something that makes it so that I can't be exploded from the inside out? Lana, can you shield my mind from stuff? I barely well, got my mind shield working. I, I don't think I can do it for someone else. Um. Well. I have been thinking. And I do have a list. Oh no. Okay. What's uh, the list? Hold on, let me go find the list. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is it? I should have written this down. Okay. So yeah, so we hands her a list. Um, in addition to the crazy side project we've been working on. Um of uh basically it's like okay so most of these are already in there somewhere uh i just need you to track them down and like figure out how they deactivated them and turn them back on but here's what i think is in there assuming they didn't rip it out or something i like i have a nervous system still so i assume it's still there okay um she she's she's looking at the list and just kind of Taking in each entry one by one, nodding and like and uh, just hmm, right. Oh, oh, okay. Um, hmm. She walks over to one of the diagnostic computers and just without saying anything, motions you to the uh to the seat that's surrounded by literal sensors and all sorts of other various tools of the cybernetic trade. And um, what do you do? Um, Leaf is well. Do you have a minute? I mean, <laughs> let me take a look at the systems first, uh, and then we'll go from there. Leaf hops in the chair and plugs in the port in the back of his neck. Okay. Um, when you do that, the rest of the machinery also starts up, and it starts running just three sixty scans around you, and you hear a lot of tapping, and after a moment, you start realizing that your heads up display that's usually um projected onto the inside of your eyes is active again and it's starting to list off systems that are coming back online really you'd think they would do more obfuscation than they did um tell me if there's any tingling or or if you smell burnt toast uh i just want to make sure that you know, nothing <laughs> nothing extra goes wrong uh yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, not not that one. I I removed that one. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, not that that one. Yeah. Um, that 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 one. Do don't, you want don't me to reactivate just that? Would be painful. Uh, okay. I I will delete the directory so it doesn't uh, show up again. Uh, nice. What else? Um. I so. Uh, we'll, uh, the, 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 so things have come back online. Mm -hmm. um, and I've already forgotten what it was we actually planned to do. <laughs> uh, it's in here somewhere. If I look long enough, I will find it. Um, uh, oh, okay. No, I found it. Uh, and lost it again. Uh, oh, here we go. In between xenology and drugs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because of course <laughs> um yeah so uh there's five things on this list uh-huh um and a couple of them are earning some extra things for me to play with yes uh leaf doesn't know that though oh leaf yes. just wants his brain and things to work again so uh yeah so as the data archive comes back online uh Leaf starts going back through all of like all of his knowledge of things that has been inaccessible for a while, um, and figures out how to uh, figure and remembers at this point how his other cybernetics actually work, <laughs> and is able to help uh, Lana uh, pinpoint exactly where the on off switches are for these various things um to the extent that the that that's actually what they are um 
and uh, gets the data link and uh, importantly, the anti-stun implant up so that the next step doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, okay. Last up. What can you do about the skeleton? Well, um, I can do a lot. It'll it'll just take a while for it to uh get fully up and running. I give it a couple of weeks. What? It... What? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Leave braces for pain. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you're you're. It feels like there are ants crawling all over your bones. It's it's not fun. <laughs> It's worse than what they took it out. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I no, 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 Kyle. You just suggested that Leaf ha someone removed Leaf's skeleton. <laughs> That's yeah, not correct, ask. right? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, Leaf has a fortified skeleton. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's bizarre. <laughs> although it did feel like they took his skeleton out. Okay. Um. And this is why, for those of you who've been watching for a while, Leaf spent a very long period walking around quite gingerly is because he had a lot of cybernetics basically <laughs> ripped out or forcibly deactivated uh, and is now getting them back and is going through that whole process in reverse. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, um, you'll be at least feeling tingling for the next uh, 7 to 12 days. Um, if it ends up feeling like absolute, uh, your bones are being broken, uh, take a couple of stim packs and hope it gets better. I I won't be there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's better than going to Artie. Oh, don't get me started on that thing. Do, do you know the mess that, that that machine left in the bio bay? Oh, no. Walls, coated. It was not fun. Um... Okay, you have anyone we know. <laughs> uh, they shot Actually, I don't want to know. Um, yeah, no, it, they, it's fine. Um, you have enough force to continue expanding. So just, I guess, whoever you choose to work on you, be careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take whatever Wadsworth says about being nice to extraterrestrials. Also, take them with a grain of salt. That's been our experience. Good to know. Thank you. Uh, oh, and you said something about that mind screen implant? I've got one. It I took mean, me the better part of a year to get right. Well, if, I mean, there's one right here. You but ha you, you have one? It, who do you Hang think on. developed you, it? You hear a lot more tapping. And then you start noticing th there's just this sharp pain in the back of your ha, skull ha. for a minute. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I'll I'll let I'll leave you with the power management. Uh, that was only five percent. Yeah. Uh, feels great. Thanks. Again, take a stim pack if it feels bad. Uh. <laughs> Take an Advil while your bones are rewriting themselves. <laughs> You'll be uh, fine. You get the sense that... Ice pack. That has you... sparks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get the sense Lana is does not have much of a bedside manner. Uh. All oh. right, and anything I... else? Can she, she holds up the disembodied arm of some alien from somewhere at some point that's just got this blade hanging out. Sure, I can't interest you in one of these. I'm not really a weapons guy. Okay, fine. She tosses it over her shoulder. Yeah. Um, oh, how are things coming along with those uh, psionic things? The, uh, you know... Ex the... Oh, the experimental... Uh, yeah, that. ...storage device? They're working on it. Um, right. My understanding we'll is... Them. Yeah, they, they if they develop a prototype, they were going to send me one uh, to try and persuade uh, Rima to put one in. We'll see. She's, uh, she's never been one for modifications, so if she doesn't want it, I'll put it in a pod and send it your way. Sounds good. Uh, if if they, you know, if they explode, maybe add a note? <laughs> uh, yes, I will do that. Appreciate uh, ex it. Exploding, not fixed by steam packs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, um, 
unless there's more you need, uh, I, I have prep to do. Uh, Leaf uh, hands over a small bottle of something that we found on one of the ships. A parting gift. We're launching soon. She looks at it and says, do I drink it or is it useful? Uh? <laughs> she's, she's kind of holding it far away well, from herself. <laughs> you can drink it or if someone else drinks it, that could be useful. She looks even more confused and says, Right, I'm going to be scanning this. Uh, Just, you know, don't do surgery after drinking it. It's a little... No potent. operating heavy machinery. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't right. give it to Rima. Telepaths, no. te telepaths without inhibitions are just... <laughs> They're terrifying. A, a recipe for... You, uh... Well, I... you know. Well, you, you were, were Yeah, I was there. That was not a fun dinner party with Rima and Kai. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> if you'll need anything, of course, we are a Quantum Comms call away. Ah, likewise. And, uh, if I find any disembodied limbs we'll send them your way <laughs> oh no Next. <laughs> on that note um Kai yes uh, you're just coming back with um kind of just a, a duffel bag of your belongings that you haven't already put on the ship cool um and you're I'm gonna say you're walking by one of the usually dormant uh training bays um, that are there specifically for psionics. And you actually notice that Wonder is sitting outside munching on yet another uh, yet another uh, ration pack. And you're hearing the sound and you're hearing, well, actually you're hearing the sounds of people sparring, but more than that, you're feeling the slightly weird hair on the back of your neck standing on end sensation of psionic power being wielded oh i i and, uh when i see wonder i give her a little a little scritchy scritch and i'm like hey what are you doing here and then i feel that like Ooh. and i'm like oh <laughs> i see why you're here <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah uh do you do you peek your head inside yeah you see satsi and rima practicing and um, you're pretty pretty aware of what Rima can do. Rima is more than capable, but you're no you notice just by watching that Satsi is holding her own no problem. And this is this is what a lot of psionists call hybrid training, where it's partially hur hurling powers at each other. But it's also martial arts. Cool. <laughs> and uh, you, you're semi-familiar. You know how to defend yourself. You've taken defense courses. It's part of being an away team member. But you know that you know a lot of human styles. You've seen them. What Satsi is doing is wild. It's it is it, it appears to be almost defying physics. That's so cool. Yes. I yeah, cool. so I like I kind of like slip in the door and close it quietly to, you know, not interrupt. Mm -hmm. Um and then I guess whenever they come to a pause point if they notice me, I'm just going to be like Yep. Satsi, uh, it, you're doing so good. Oh my god. Yep. Uh it initially um Rima's back is actually to you, but uh Satsi does this kind of almost she attempts to do a leg sweep, and when that doesn't work, she just kind of does this jump through the air over Rima and lands behind her. Uh -huh. And uh, as Rima turns around, she notices you, and then um, makes it makes a gesture at Satsi and um, direct gestures at you. Yeah, and then I do the so good. Oh my gosh, Rima, she's giving you a run for for your money. Look at you go. Kid's got talent. I'll give her that. How did you do that? Like, and then she does a little jump. 
How'd you? <laughs> That's that was cool. <laughs> Um, Sasuke kind of glances between the two of you, and, um, she shrugs. You've never seen her shrug before, but you also know that that's a thing Rima does a lot. <laughs> so she, you have a feeling you know where that came from. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and then she, she walks by, kind of taps you, taps you on the arm as she goes by and transfers kind of a, a sensation of greeting, but also leaving you alone for a second. And, well, I didn't uh, want to interrupt your... If you want to keep training, I... When she's done, she's done. Okay. Rima starts grabbing her things and says, So, I hear Dawnbreaker's getting ready to head out. Yeah. Ship's, I mean, basically done. Um, Quarren's... Well, either Quarren's knocking down a wall or Brick's doing it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's Quarren, because I don't know if Brick knows where the wires are. But... We're almost ready to go. <laughs> yeah. She she glances up from putting her stuff away. Brick? Yeah, we have two new members. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, a couple security of security forces, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you guys be... don't need any. Well, they're they're useful. They can be blood instruments sometimes, but they're useful. That's a little rude. Um, <laughs> they're team members, just like the rest of us. I'm sorry. Yeah, but they're... I'm not going to get in an argument with you, Kai. Yes, they know what they're doing. They are good at what they do. We don't have them because we don't have them. Ask Wadsworth. Okay. Brick is offended from a distance. Look, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm offended for you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Look, I just want to, we're about to leave, and you've been training with Satsi, and clearly she's doing great, but I need to know, is there anything else that I need to work with her on? I mean, you're not going to be around, so, just. You, Leaf has some powers. If you can, see if she can spar with him on occasion, at least with, with powers, um, and keep teaching her language. She's, she doesn't speak. Vocally, she still communicates with the emotions and images, but I have caught her communicating words in English really? through that telepathic link. If you keep teaching, I if you keep teaching her, I think she will know. What am I saying? She understands more than I think we realize. I, so I know that. Yeah, I just for the life of me can't figure out why she doesn't talk because. The, a, the examination that the biolab did says that she has full capability to vocalize. She doesn't. Hey, I mean, I knew people that just didn't talk. That's kind of a, you know, you don't know. That's her choice. <clears throat> she does, She communicates in her special way, and that's... <laughs> I uh, mean. You see Rima just kind of nodding and smiling and saying, yeah, I, f I feel like there was a double meaning there. <clears throat> No, that wasn't... Okay, sure, whatever. Read into it however you want. I don't care. Look, I just... I should go, but... Where where are you guys going? Where is she sending Someone... you? There's... There's a planetoid that's kind of off on its own. There were some distant energy signatures, and we're, we're going to go check it out. That's all I know right now. All right. Listen, Kai, just be careful out there, all right? I think I can handle myself, thank you. I know you can. Just... She's... She's having... She's having what you recognize as a very hard time saying something. I I'll She grabs fine. her stuff she I... grabs her stuff and starts walking towards the door and as she passes she just says Just make sure you come back in one piece. I'd like to know that you're okay. And with that she leaves. Do you <laughs> And the door closes and as she says, care about me and then opens the door and goes That's very sweet, Rima. I hope you're okay, too. <laughs> In a very jokey way. 
Uh, you actually just open the door and start shouting that, and it's just Satsi and Wonder standing there like, what, what's this about? And then I'm like, how'd she, did she hear me? Was she still in the hallway? Um, she leaves just really fast. <laughs> Thoughtsy just points points down the hallway and does. Yeah, of course. Come on, let's get on the ship. Do you have anything else? You got all your stuff, right? She just pats Wonder. Okay. And starts another rush. Aww. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> all right, you all return to the ship, and. Uh, you get you get your room set up. Um, you get you get to know how everyone's pretty much set up. Uh, when you get when you get back, you notice Satsi actually has kind of decked out her space with um, shawls and hanging rugs and stuff like that. It looks like stuff that Where'd she might have either she might have either <laughs> commandeered them from the pirate ship yes. because you remember seeing some of those. <laughs> um, so reverse commandeering, I think it's fair game. Um, and you actually notice that pretty much as soon as she gets there, she just sits down and starts meditating. Um, cool. And yeah, you all four of you drop your stuff off and get ready to leave. And uh, Rick, the wall was taken down before you got back. Oh. <laughs> and and there's actually um, a, a maintenance bio droid in the process of welding up some final patches to make sure nothing leaks or anything like that. Kai is like, thank Christ. <laughs> not uh, not outwardly, but like, I don't want to immediately rip walls out of our ship. <laughs> that could have been important. <laughs> uh, you may also hear something about uh, Artie wanting to do a class A diagnostic on the ship's engine. Um, Artie! Uh, he was saying he was hearing weird things. Artie, absolutely not. Artie? We what do you mean weird? It's making a frequency variance of 0.06 megatons. Kai would know this, but Vicky doesn't. Is that supposed to happen? You don't even know what a megazobble is. Great. <laughs> so Kai wouldn't know this, and Kai just like... <laughs> Already one more time, in a language I can understand. You would hear my unit convergence has been corrupted. Hmm. I need to reinstall that package. It will return to that Kai. <laughs> Kai's gonna go into the bridge and just like take a long listen <laughs> and see if it's okay. I can do you a can check roll. for that. Can I yes, roll? roll? Roll me a listen check, please. I wanted to show off my new dice. I got metal dice. Oh, ah! oh those are cool. Sick. I'm they so are excited. Nice. They're so like nice. blue. It's kind of hard to see, but like, ugh. And they just, they roll so nice. So we're going to see if they roll good. No. <laughs> they don't. That was a two. Oh, no. <laughs> You're still focused on the conversation with Rima. You're not really paying attention. That's fair. <laughs> no. You're mean. <laughs> Is there uh, yes. something going on here? There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on That's with Kai. Lot. Don't worry. You'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. So your ship's ready to go. It's fully fueled. And, um, hang on. Words, things. I'm looking up a thing. Hit control and... delete like the pilot did. <laughs> it's always possible. So I have a Linux computer that literally just reboots the computer immediately. Do not pass go. <laughs> oh, God, really? I don't do it. It's terrifying. Uh, so. You get aboard the ship. Everything's stowed. You are ready to go. Are there any last things before you set off? Well, definitely running a full computer systems check. Bessie's good to go. I'm going to do a, yeah, an engine diagnostic or whatever I can do with the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. There are a crate that a brick could put his new toy in. Oh, yes. <laughs> there, there's a I nice see. big slot in the armory for this thing. I think Sweet. I I have to see you guys bringing that on, right? And I'm just like, oh, that looks fun. <laughs> I've been asking for one of those for how long have we been on the away team? I mean, we're all allowed to use it. It is mine. 
what you, this, this is what this is what I get for being expendable. <laughs> you are not. None of us listen. None. We've talked about this. None of us are expendable. <laughs> Look, we keep a secret that we gotta like take down a ship or something. Mm. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Now that everything's stored, you're at your spots in on the bridge. Um, ship is spooled up, and you are starting to depart Endurance. Oh, yeah. And as you do, um, you notice that Thunderous Descent is in a holding position. Also, next to that pocket carrier that caused you guys so much trouble last time, it has been repainted. <laughs> and you see the uh, you see the name Discovery just across the front of it. Oh, cool. And um, yeah, as you start drifting out, Wait, you... do we see, can we see into Alpha Team's? Ship as we leave? Kinda, sorta. Gonna give them a, a little, little bit. <laughs> uh, no one really seems to respond. Mm. Um, in fact, uh, who's where? Kai, are you piloting? Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna um, miss the chance else? to take off the ship for the first time, are you kidding? <laughs> I built right. this baby. Um, and Leaf is probably at his science spot. Um, our brick and Ari kind of at you know, gunners stations, security posts, or something like that. Yeah. I feel, yeah. We'd, I feel like Brick would be like up in the cockpit, just kind of hanging out and watching stuff, just in case. Sounds good. Um, you notice that there's um, coming from the other two ships and Endurance itself. There are proximity warnings coming in, as as a bunch of objects are approaching. What do you do? Um. I check and see what kind of objects those are. I don't know if that's just a look a f look forward or like a. <laughs> and I will. A... Yes, and I will actually scan for them. <laughs> As you start scanning, you start noticing fireworks going off. Okay. They Aww. they sent out just a whole bunch of fireworks for you. As, as you departed the ship. Oh my god! Wait, do I have a comm system back to to? Uh, yeah. I just turn it on and I'm like, thank you, Endurance. That was really cute. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you in weapons, this isn't an attack. <laughs> Fair enough. They're just happy to see us. You hear Cordum over the comm system say, Really? Uh, okay. And the, the, the laser net turret powers down. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. You, you have the coordinates set in. Um, and uh, Kai, you hit the button to deploy the ship's warp pylons. You hear the sound of... Um, you hear the sound of them just going... And, um, and I say, everybody, they... hold on! <laughs> Haven't and, tried it yet! <laughs> and they're ready to go. You actually... Is Kai the kind of person who would actually have a lever to go to FTL? Absolutely, Grant. Are you yeah. kidding? The amount of like Is that even a question? Yeah. The amount of like old movies, especially sci-fi movies that she and Dossie watched. She is for sure just the yank like warp speed, Captain. Like, yeah, absolutely. Right. Everything that she can she has a motorcycle that <laughs> runs on like actual not not actually gasoline, but Kind of, <laughs> like she like gasoline. She does it for, for the style, <laughs> you know. Okay, so you reach forward, you push the you push the uh, throttle indicator forward. The stars in front of you lengthen, and then you just jump. Wee! And hmm. uh, you now see stars passing you by as you are <laughs> in warp. Hell yeah! I am going to assume. That Grant is not going to um, run us into a planet immediately, and that I don't have to be like, and then I stop. So, well, do what I do you do? To... You've got it's actually a couple. Well, give me a navigations check. This okay. is going to determine how quickly you get there. All right. <sighs> these dice are betraying me. Oh no! I no. paid money for Scrap these dice. Them. Um, <laughs> you said navigation. Yes, please. And uh, do I add anything because of because of the ship? No, right. 
Um, you can use the ship's computer. You've got a Mark III Tetranode. You can get plus three. Ooh. Yeah, sure. All right. That's With a, a plus three. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. You actually... It's not the most efficient course, but you lay in a pretty good course. And it will take you about a week at speed to get there. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, you're okay. <laughs> During that week... What what are all of your characters doing? I mean, we definitely have a little like team powwow, right? I want to get to know Brick and Airy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I set the to, thing and I'm like, all right, new bar. let's have dinner. <laughs> I'll cook. You you mix drinks. Excellent. This is what me and Kyle do in real life, by the way. No, it's actually, true. usually it's the opposite. Yeah, it Kyle just doesn't the drink. Kyle doesn't drink, but he makes drinks and I cook. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, you you have you have your team powwow. It is great, um, Artie. No, I want to have this in real. Sure. I want to okay. ask questions. I want to have okay. a conversation <laughs> with my team members. We can't just do okay. this off camera. There is the delightful smell of <coughs> leaf. Insert food cooking. I thought you just were gonna stop at leaf. <laughs> oh, no. uh, we can cook a few leaves, okay? Like we'll have we'll have some kind of salad. Some spinach. And... Uh, and, uh, I don't know. It's our first day out. We'll have, we'll have, I don't know, steak. Sure. Why not? Ooh. All so, right. Synth steak it is. Yeah. As, a uh, as he's cooking and we're just chilling, I guess, by the bar setup thing. Um. Mm -hmm. What thing are you concocting? Well, I ask Brick and Ari what they would like. What's your, what's your drink of choice? What's your drink of I choice? Have a question, then, for a Grant, Negroni, actually. Spagliat. <laughs> with Prosecco. In Grant. It. Whatever <laughs> the first one you said was. Oh, would alcohol affect a psionics like we anything? Also, well, as, as stated in one of the in one of the other scenes, your inhibitions disappear, so your powers might slip. I also have juice okay. and soda and water and things it's like that. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine as long as we're not both intoxicated. So who's our designated psionic tonight then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's worked. laughs> um, Satsi just kind of walks up and raises a hand in response to what you just said. Uh, I think we Aries does. If, if we try to blow the ship apart, please don't let us. Okay. She nods <laughs> and then she points Kai, and you you have no idea how she figured this out, but she points at essentially a carbonated juice. I really, and I pour her a glass and I push it to her and I'm like, I really hope uh, that you didn't find out that this was something good for you to drink by trying the other <laughs> stuff when I wasn't looking. Please ask me if you're going to try stuff. <laughs> she kind of looks at you, shrugs, and then walks over to see what he's doing. Oh, that shrug's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you need to hang out with Rima less. <laughs> hey, then oh, this is a great opportunity for that. Yeah, it is actually. It's a great um, opportunity for Kai to also not see her for a while. <laughs> uh, Leaf is looking forward to sparring with uh, yeah. both of the other psionics on board. That'll be fun. Uh, okay, so I'm, while I make your drinks, <coughs> I'm having juice. <coughs> while I pour you some juice. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I'm. I'm just gonna. So so. We haven't really had a chance to like, like, talk. So like, I mean, I, you know, I'm Kai. I know you guys are Brick and Airy, but like, that's Leaf. Um, Zen's in the room too. I'm assuming. Yes. He's like not near us. But, like Zen, Satsi, cool. But like, I don't know. Tell us about yourselves. The three of us have been working together. Well, okay. So me and Leaf have been working together for a while, but um, Zen joined the crew recently. Um, but like. I want to get to know yeah, you guys. Um, I'm excited to have you on the team. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, we were like security. We were back on planet and mm -hmm. like came with the ship. That's about it. I don't really know. Yeah. Can't really think of much else. Yeah. Fair. So, like, you're from Earth? <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Nice. It's thank really too guys. bad to go back there. Uh, what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just... And then Leaf looks around and goes, wait a minute. This is our ship. 
Yeah. Uh, um, wait. Uh, I stop you because I know what you're about to do. And I'm like, we should make sure, though, that are you sure that was Ruth can't hear us? Are you positive? Because uh, I'm hear, not positive. You hear over the, you hear over the announcement system. Quantum comms temporarily deactivated. Order of Bessie. Oh, thanks, Bessie. <laughs> uh, love cool. you, Bessie. Uh, Leaf contemplates for another moment and then uh, makes a complicated snapping motion with his fingers as all of the other noises in the room uh, kind of deaden uh, so that we can't be overheard. I look at the glass that I just drank from and then I look back up at you. <laughs> Like you did that, <laughs> or was that okay? All right. So <laughs> just shakes his head and no, says, "This it? is normal." So, so I'm, I'm now, now that we're you know, uh, off ship anyway. Uh, yeah. So I'm uh, not really welcome back on Earth. Something about, well, it's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, some something about you know a lot of uh, Ill illegal. Uh, very, very illegal cybernetics and uh, and AI research that's totally not in any way related to our <coughs> captain. Um, yeah. Uh, I just, yeah, six. Just, let's just say that uh, Wadsworth and I share more than a sense of humor. They share a brain. <laughs> only, part of it. only part of it. Just a little. <laughs> What? We, we just it's started. Not, with... I, see, okay, so it's spooky, right? But I thought originally that it was like they just boop, and it, out of his. It's not like. Oh, that. I mean, yeah, but yeah, it's not, not like that. No, not no, no. That. Okay. Just, just He's got his whole of... brain, so it's we're good. <laughs> yeah, plus what a few the, extra bits. What does the other guy have? If uh, not your part of my personality, a map of my like copy. brain, my love of puns, and. Uh, <gasps> And then the, uh, well, not from me, but the mind of the greatest uh, you know, <coughs> tactician uh, in human history. Wadsworth. Greatest general in human history. Yeah, so Wadsworth is like a distant cousin? I would say more than that. <laughs> um, like a brother? I, I don't know. No, that that's the relationship. I mean, you know, he did send me off into space with you guys, so. Yeah. Uh, mm. Also, uh, so, speaking. So he either really likes me or really hates you. Uh, speaking of being in space, uh, Cthulhu in the chat said, "You can't play D and D in space. The dice are just gonna float away." <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of inadvisable stuff, do you want a tattoo? <gasps> oh my God! Say yes. Well, I mean, can and you then I show me? them mine. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Like that works? Uh huh. Yeah, it's cool. And then oh, I yeah. slap mine and I'm like, see? And I don't know if it, if anything happens. You are uh, you are covered in a shimmering coating of yeah. psionic Okay, energy. yeah. Punch me. <laughs> okay. Do it. <laughs> Make it. Wait, we're going. <laughs> okay. I don't have my gauntlet on. I took it off. So, you know. <laughs> so, Punch is arm high. strength is just strength. I love it. Do I roll for any? Oh no, I have an armor class. That's right. <laughs> Technically, you're flat-footed right now. Oh wow, nineteen. <laughs> yeah, that hits for sure, my dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. We uh, talked about you, this. There's... You can't just punch people. What she said. Oh wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. I said, did you actually add the? I didn't add it. Oh no, haha, -ha, no, it doesn't. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. I get the nervous for a second because it is close, but. <laughs> It doesn't. The force of your fist is absorbed by some sort of energy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Don't do it again, though. You are again. very oh. strong. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this work exactly? Oh, here, I can show you. Uh, we've, it, like, out of a pocket, pulls out this little, like, leather kit full of needles and this tiny pot of ink that, as he's holding it, seems to, like, react and be moving. I back up. And 
Tr like, tr Instant. like it's almost like it's trying to get closer. It's all of it. This like inky substance has moved to the side of the container closest to Leaf's hand. Okay. Nope. 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 Actually, and I, I physically move you away from where you're cooking our dinner, <laughs> and I say, I'm gonna take over. You show them that. <laughs> Zen, you make sure that that thing doesn't get out. I, I've got it. <laughs> he, he just keeps sipping, <laughs> sipping his drink, <laughs> but he is keeping an eye on you. <laughs> uh, it's like a great yeah. ink, and also will kill you um, if it's like larger than that. It's weird. It's very. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it like does that. So that's. Kind I, of I, I hate to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you know we've got a whole vat of that stuff in the cargo bay, right? <laughs> and she looks at the she does not <laughs> Security we officer, talked I about this the day I was sick you guys weren't supposed to do anything crazy and then I come back and there's a self-destruct button there is a giant vat <laughs> of goo like what else is here you have hey, the bird the self -destruct, ship they gave us a really good deal on that self-destruct button the really good deal would have been not having it I can <laughs> self-destruct a ship without a button and I don't want a button to make it easier. But what if I want to do it? I don't want you to do it. And that's why you have one of the keys. <laughs> Who has the third key? Zen holds it up. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy, not stupid. I just don't want Eris to have the third one or something and then Artie to get it. <laughs> oh, and then <laughs> who knows what happens. For, from uh, the med bay you hear... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, tattoos. Uh, they do things. Want one? Yeah. I guess you could. You should try it yeah. out first. Uh, it's like a normal tattoo, but it does something cool. Yeah. So I know. And they're rechargeable. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Interestingly, and I, because I actually did reread the rules since I knew we had to say Onyx people on here, um, it has to be a. So basically, what this desk actually does is that it lets me build, make, create a tattoo for you, which then can contain a psionic power that I know, That's which then cool. you can activate as though it was you out using it. But um, it, there's no spec, but the, all of the like knowledge and stuff goes into creating it. Um, which means that any psionic, any scion could actually recharge it, which means that if you had one, you could recharge it yourself and g gain access to a power you don't personally possess. <laughs> Just rolls up. In theory. All right, do it. Um, <laughs> okay. At the cost that you have to spend an action recharging it and then an action using it. And then um, Kai just goes, if you're going to do that on my bar, though, you have to sanitize afterwards, please, leaf. Okay. Thank you. We'll clean up the blood. It is the real Wait, question. I'm going to bleed? Well, it's a tattoo. It happened. I've never gotten a tattoo. Uh, I mean, it hurts less than the biometric scan. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if in real life if that's true. <laughs> it's a bigger needle. <laughs> I'll just sip oh, my juice box while you do it. Just <laughs> sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess an interesting point do I actually have to physically touch the tattoo because I'm kind of you know covered in armor in combat um, might be a logistical issue you do have to touch it right because I have to slap mine or have someone else do it hold on I actually because I that. put it in a really Can stupid you spot <laughs> um I'm fun physically activates so in principle you do not actually have to hit the tattoo yourself you just have to hit it against something with intent oh is how i would read that. so you can you can hit it through i agree right clothing Mecha and stuff. some yeah. kind of mechanical and some kind of mechanical you know prodding plus intent i'm just is, my, is like how i would read here. that. <gasps> yes mm. yes 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 do that <laughs> 
<laughs> it's gonna look cool because then you can punch something and be like haha and like it yeah yeah that'd be cool <laughs> i like that does, does is brick carrying his gauntlet with him everywhere does he have he, to take he, off? he has taken it he is no longer okay. wearing his armor okay. now that we're aboard the ship yeah okay have i seen the gauntlet yeah. You would you would notice that Brick's um Rick standard crap, what's it called? Uh uh special response armor, like his both of his gauntlets have added bulk to them as like a modification as well as a couple of other like it has a life support system that you can see and That's cool. it's not your standard armor that does the it, other security forces have. Does it wrap around your hand at all? Uh, I don't know what a gauntlet. Not the, it's, it's like a so brace, the gauntlet a is just kind of like the thing, bracer right? part. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So there's like a bulky bit here and there's a bulky bit there. Okay. So here's the big question. We're not twinning, but <laughs> close. Mine's put away. I don't have a gauntlet. I have something else. You'll see it later. <laughs> Are we going for defense or offense here? Well, I mean, no offense. You all seem a little uh, squishy. Oh, we all know that. That's fine. So he's the strongest one, and I kind of like punch Zen lightly on the arm, and I'm like, he's the strongest one. And even then, uh, he he's, he starts you know pointing at various scales that are missing. That was uh, that was a plasma blast. That was the goo monster. That was at one of our turrets. <coughs> I feel that. <coughs> but um, I don't know. Probably like defense make me a little bit better at protecting you guys right that's what we're here for uh it's really too bad i can't do a fourth level one uh the uh i'm actually gonna choose offense oh well, yeah if you hit shit and i <laughs> stop so you. It from getting hit um <laughs> okay hold on Aidener. Grant, is this something I could add to my like character sheet, the tattoos? Yes. Yeah. This cool. Be... Where should I put that? I'd put it under feats and traits. Cool. Is this cool. um because this is like a like a cool thing that you guys can do? Is this something that we should like kind of do a little like next time we're back and you guys have tattoos and you can like take time to pick your powers that are in them and stuff? Yeah. 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 Sounds good. Um, uh yeah so but we can definitely do the uh scribing part just because that's fun if we have time for that or are we past time <laughs> we're a little past time but if you want to do it go for it who wants to go first so say you've picked them already <laughs> oh yeah um okay um yeah so leaf pulls out these needles which are like weirdly like you can't see where the end of this needle is because uh, it's that sharp and he unstoppers the vial of ink dips the needle in and then leaves like a trail in the air that follows as he moves the this needle and this ink seems to be pulsating in time with leaf's breathing as he just kind of reaches out there he goes, hold still, this might sting a little. And then just yeah. starts kind of <laughs> like jabbing you repeatedly in the, you know, knuckles. Um, and scribes in like this little tiny image of a, uh, like this almost fractal pattern in the shape of a person. Uh, and... Uh, a weirdly large amount of ink seems to be going into your skin for how tiny this tattoo is. Whoa. Uh, and when he finishes, the bottle is about a third empty, and you have this shiny, glowing tattoo. It's actually, like, if you imagine, like, the opposite of glowing. Like, it's got this, like, energy coming out of it, except that it's actually, like, it absorbs all light that touches it. Like, you can't see. Like, it's not a color. Mm. So that makes sense. Interesting. Um, yeah, uh, and if you were to, you know, whack that or whack it against something, you now have shimmery Ooh. rain armor. <laughs> Hit me. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you want one? Yeah, kind of. Um. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, I don't yeah. Know where to put it. I think I'm gonna put mine like on my wrist, like wham. <laughs> um. Alrighty. Um, and we can figure out the details later, but you get your tattoo as well with the ink flowing around and uh yeah um as and you're your doing case, is it the same pattern as his, it would the... be a different pattern but in your case okay. also you would be able to feel the kind of psionic energy crackling between us as Leaf does that because because he's embedding a psionic pattern directly into your skin as, <laughs> as you're doing that as you're doing aries i like nudge uh zen and i'm like you're the only one who doesn't have one now <laughs> Uh, I'm dubious at best when it comes to this stuff. Uh, it'll take more persuading. Uh, think about it. It's fun. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> he, he just glances at the stuff in the jar and just like... You have a mohawk now. Do it because it's cool. Duh. <laughs> Over the barn. Um, I'll think about it. And as that happens... You hear throughout the ship. I thought you were watching it's the It's already. <laughs> alert, alert. Object detected ahead, dropping out of FTL. Okay, Kai is and, booking it. <laughs> and as you're booking it, you feel the ship lurch and oh. drop out of warp. Jeez. And that's where we'll end it. Love it. Woo! Dang. That was Dang. so fun. That was cool. This is going to be great. This is going to be so good. Uh, thank you so much, Grant, for weaving a lovely tale and uh, ushering us into mission number four for d and <coughs> I'm going to cough a lot through this. Sorry, d and in space. Um, also, thank you to McKenna, Amanda, and Kyle for being amazing uh, party members. Uh, this is so fun. And I'm so excited to have two new members of the team. This is going to be great. Um, <coughs> sorry. As far as uh, next week goes, on Monday, I'm going to be here for <coughs> some astronomy news. Oh, God. No, not astronomy news. Amateur astronomy. I am out of tea. On Wednesday, um, me and Michael will be back to do some astronomy news. That's what I meant. So amateur astronomy Monday, astronomy news Wednesday, and we'll be back here on Thursday for some more d and in space. Uh, <coughs> if you're interested watching the old episodes they are on my youtube channel um which i hope you can get to by clicking my face i'm pretty sure you can um and uh yeah i think that's it i'm gonna cough again great you want to <laughs> yes uh thank you everybody for hanging out this has been wonderful as always um we will be back again next week and finding out what that proximity alarm is all about i'm very excited <coughs> All right. Anything else? Anybody else? No? All right. I'm cool. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.